Today's video is about polycystic kidney disease and soy products and how replacing your animal products with some soy products is more beneficial for PKD. Now polycystic kidney disease, there's two main types and they're both an inherited genetic disorder. And what happens is the kidneys uh, begin to develop cysts in them and those cysts continue to grow and grow and grow until they damage the kidney where you're in kidney failure. Now PKD years ago used to definitely mean kidney failure, not anymore because we have so much more information on what you can do to help yourself. So if you're new to our channel, I'm Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor, living with a kidney transplant years, years, years longer than it was ever supposed to, which put me in this field, maybe obsessed with kidney health because I never wanted to go to dialysis kidney failure again. And in turn, I get to help lots and lots of people. So to make sure to subscribe, uh, also comment, like our videos because we always get back to you and we love to see our subscribers grow because that means more people are getting this information. So PKD, what can you do about it? So one of the things we know is that replacing your animal products with soy proteins, tofu, uh, tempeh, uh, natto, which is fermented soybeans, it helps the PKD, it helps the cyst. Now we've got studies going back to the journal, the American Society of Nephrology, February 1999, uh, the European Journal of Renal Nutrition, June 2014. So we have lots of research on this, mainly animals, but we also know that from other studies in soy with people that have kidney disease, how beneficial it is. Okay, it's an easier protein for your kidneys to um, filter out the toxins that come from protein metabolism. It's lower in phosphorus. It's a plant-based protein, so the phosphorus doesn't absorb well. And what you want to do is you don't want to add it on to your other proteins, meaning, okay, I'm going to have my usual animal protein and then have the soy protein. No, you want to get rid of the animal protein and have that soy protein in its place. And you know, they theorize a lot of different reasons why the soy proteins may help assist with PKD from phytoestrogens, which are plant estrogens, which show a lot of health benefits to a lot of different nutrients that are in there, being a plant-based protein. So you have PKD, you want to start transitioning to some soy in your diet. You don't have to do it 100%, generally don't recommend that, but at least start replacing some meals. And you can do it with tofu. Tofu is one of my favorite things, my favorite soy products to have when I'm having soy. Uh, easy to cook, you can do a lot of things with it, a lot of varieties. Um, if you're eating out, okay, Chinese uh, restaurants, Chinese takeout places will always have soy uh, tempeh tofu on the menu and they usually have it in the healthy section where you can get it steamed, you can get it with vegetables, no salt. So that's often something that I go to when I'm eating out with family, friends, you know, I, hey, let's eat Chinese. Right? It, works. it works for people with kidney disease, Chinese food, Chinese takeout because of the healthier options you can get on there. If you do get any sauces, always on the side, okay? Any sauces that you use on the side so you can dip your fork in it to get a little flavor and then into your food so you're not consuming a lot of the additives and typically salt that comes with sauces. So look at soy, look at some soy recipes. If you got PKD, you wanna definitely consider adding it in. And as I mentioned, there's so many more things you can do with PKD. We have another video on our channel, so check that out about resveratrol, uh, a nutrient or a supplement you can get that comes from uh, grapes, um, also found in wine. You don't wanna drink wine, okay? You can have some red grapes, but resveratrol in the pill form really helps PKD. Uh, there's also a medication that was approved about a year ago for PKD, so you can talk to your doctor about it. And the good thing, is that it's an old medication, so it's been out there a while. So um, as long as you're detected early, okay, they find out you have the PKD early, there's so many things that you can do to really help yourself and avoid kidney failure and avoid those later stages of kidney disease, or at least drastically slow down getting there. Um, resveratrol, soy protein, talk to your doctor about the medication, Take a look at our blog, website, about other things you can do, and all the other nutritional recommendations like a lower salt diet also applies to PKD. So all these good things can help you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe when you have it, and to your best kidney health. Bye.